so uh, this is a juiced scorpion. This is pretty much the type of setup you need in order to do a rear tire change on this bike. I mean, I've seen customers flip over the bike and screw up the screen, the throttle. So you kind of need a motorcycle lift and uh, then another little lift jack for your stand. So you disconnect the cable there, which I already cut the zip ties. And then this is a really tough nut to get to. Um, I'm not sure why they opted for this frame design, but they have the dropout as part of the sensor here. Uh, so that's this piece back here. Uh, that's removable from the frame with a whole bunch of what look like uh, M5 or 6 bolts and then the derailleur is right underneath the nut so it's totally in the way even when you get this loose it won't easily pass by here you have to take this all the way off and then on the other side we have a little security tang here washer whatever you want to call that so you got to remove that uh, five millimeter bolt before you can loosen the axle nut and get it to drop out so I'm going to go ahead and do that then this will kind of slip past the derailleur with all this hanging off like that and go to the other side get our four millimeter and this little set bolt here remove that get our 18 this one's on quite a bit tighter than the other one loosen that up Sometimes the axle will be stuck in the frame. This one came out rel relatively easily, but if the axle ever is stuck, you just put a 10 millimeter wrench on here and rotate it forward. So that's how you get your rear tire off your juice. I'll probably lift the jack up a little bit more so I can get clearance there. And yeah, hopefully that was helpful.